I am going to share my tricks for creating architectural portfolio, creating technical drawings, presentation layout, and shareable portfolio means juggling between multiple softwares. But what if you could do it all in one platform seamlessly in your web browser? This is not a how to use software video. It's a how to save hours, look professional and impress anyone who clicks your portfolio link video. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through how to use Rayon Design to create precise architectural drawings and well-composed architectural presentation boards and then turn them into a complete online portfolio ready to share with a single link. Whether you are applying for a job, internship, client presentation or just streamlining your design process, this workflow can simplify it all. Let's get started. Let's begin by opening the template link. I have already shared the template link in the description box below and once you open it, Click on duplicate and your template is ready to be edited within your Rayon Design account. The format currently custom sized at 30 cm by 27 cm, but we are going to adjust that based on the requirements of our project. As we move forward, head over to the layer panel where you will see two canvases, portfolio and model. I will go to the model canvases, click on the three lines in the top corner and import my Rayon project. Once I click on the screen and tap show, all the drawings I have created for this renovation project will appear. These include the construction plan, furniture layout, lighting plan and various details. Since all of my drawings are in landscape orientation, I want my portfolio to follow the same format. Orientation matters a lot in portfolio. If your page layout and drawing don't match, it can look messy and hard to understand. In this case, the landscape works perfectly. I will now adjust the page size and the layout by selecting all the pages, moving them slightly to create more space. And then from the right hand side panel, I will set the orientation to landscape and the sheet size will be changed to A4 and I will keep the scale one is to one. Once that's done, I will begin refining the template by adjusting the text and the textures. But before I make any design changes, I want to create proper alignment using the guides. So I will go to the toolbar, select the guideline tool and create a new layer called guidelines. These will help me align all the sheets uniformly. I will also set the margin using the offset tool, let's say 1.5 cm so I can maintain the consistency across pages. Good alignment is a key to visual clarity. When your text, images and drawings are neatly positioned, they are easier to understand and visually more appealing. That's why margin and guides are non-negotiable in my workflow. And when the portfolio is ready, I can simply hide the guideline layer before exporting. Now that I have my layout structure, I'll begin by adding my drawings and text. I will start by selecting and resizing the shape so they fit within the page margin. Using the guidelines, I will position the title, let's say Selected Work 2025 and change the placeholder name from Rayon Design to Art Icky. The right panel allows me to adjust the font size, style and color. One very important tip when creating a portfolio is to limit the number of font types you use, ideally two or one. Using too many fonts can make your portfolio look messy. So stick to one or two font styles to keep your portfolio clean and professional. This template also includes a resume section, which is useful if you're applying for internship or jobs. You can add your education, work experience, software proficiency and languages here. When you show this information clearly in your portfolio, it helps clients and employers to understand your background better. You can even customize it further with graphical elements using the line tool, polygon tool or adding textures and hatches to reflect your design personality. This is the beauty of Rayon Design. It offers everything in one space, from detailed drawing to visual layouts and presentation boards. As I continue, I will start building the structure for the project presentation by adding the title 
apartment renovation followed by the project's location. On the next page, I will write a short content summary with all the drawing titles listed clearly. This might include the construction plan, furniture layout, lighting, and various details drawings. Label everything clearly. Your portfolio should be easy to understand for someone seeing it for the first time. For the main drawing, I will place each plan inside the gray placeholder area already included in the template. I will reduce the size slightly to make sure it fits within the margin and align with my guidelines. I will then go to the model layer, click view and insert the drawings one by one. If the drawing appears too large, I will resize them using the corner nodes. If you are working with the mouse and find the zoom and the pan a bit tricky, you can disable those options in the bottom toolbar for easier control. After resizing, I will click done to confirm the view placement. I will maintain the same format for all the drawings. On one side of the page will be the scaled drawing and on the other a small caption or text block explaining what the drawings represent. I like to keep the structure consistent throughout the portfolio. It helps the viewer to follow your thought process. For the detailed drawings, I will use a different layout. I will rotate the gray area for the vertical section and I will also add multiple details. The idea is to create a visually balanced and informative spread that doesn't feel cluttered. Again, your drawing should speak for themselves. Avoid using long paragraphs and focus on visual storytelling. Towards the end of the portfolio, I will add a closing page with the name Art Iki and possibly a thank you note or contact information. Before wrapping up, I'll make sure everything is properly aligned, all the drawings are placed correctly and the text is readable. At this point, you can even add page numbers and small graphic elements if they enhance the readability and aesthetics. Once everything is in place from the left side pages panel, I will rearrange the order to ensure the content follows naturally. Starting with the cover, then resume, followed by the project title, content list, and then all the drawings in order. When I'm satisfied with the arrangement, I will use the export all option to export it as a PDF or PNG. I can also adjust the export settings, preview pages, and select the sheet range. And the best part is you can share your portfolio as a link or present it directly from the platform. I will go to the top of the screen, click share and generate a public link to share with clients or for job and internship applications. With Rayon Design, creating and sharing architectural portfolio has become fast, streamlined and entirely online. No exporting, no formatting, no switching between different softwares. If you're looking for a clean and modern way to showcase your work, this platform offers a powerful all-in-one solution. Thanks for watching. I am Kritika and I test tools so you don't have to. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss a future video. Check out the link in description box below to try Rayon free and get the portfolio template. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, happy designing. Bye-bye.